has odd euphoric about Obama's decision in Syria strike, McCain says, CBS News. It's news.com vertical bracket CBS evening news vertical bracket CBS this morning vertical bracket 48 hours vertical bracket 60 minutes vertical bracket Sunday morning vertical bracket face the nation vertical bracket up to the minute. Login. Vertical bracket. Register. Your profile. Vertical bracket. Log out. Face the nation. Home local listings archives face to face about a Sunday lineup. September 1st, 2013, 12 to 18 p.m. Print text. Assad euphoric about Obama's decision in Syria strike, McCain says. By Lindsay Bulma. Play CBS News video. Scroll left, scroll right. Play September 1st, Kerry, McCain, Kane, Chandless. September 1st, Kerry, McCain, Kane, Chandless. Play General. Powell on Egypt and Syria. General. Powell on Egypt and Syria. Play Senators predict tough debate in Congress about Syria strike. Senators predict tough debate in Congress about Syria strike. Play Rebels seek advantage from ending U.S. strike on Syrian. Rebels seek advantage from ending U.S. strike in Syrian regime. Play Skeefer, a day that changed America. Skeefer. A day that changed America. Play August 25th, Powell, Lewis, McCall, Reed. August 25th, Powell, Lewis, McCall, Reed. Play Kerry, Congressional Vote in Syria the Right Decision. Kerry, Congressional Vote in Syria the Right Decision. Play Open, This is Face the Nation, September 1st. Open, This is Face the Nation, September 1st. Play McCain, Congressional Vote in Syria Strike Problematic. McCain, Congressional Vote in Syria Strike Problematic. Play Experts on U.S. Options in Syria. Experts on U.S. Options in Syria. Play Has Syria Crossed the Red Line, and what does that? Has Syria Crossed the Red Line, and what does that mean for U.S.? Play Graham, Egypt is going to be a failed state. Graham. Egypt is going to be a failed state. CBS News, Syrian President Bashar al-Assad is euphoric about President Obama's surprise announcement Saturday that he will seek congressional authorization for a limited strike in the war-torn country, Senator. John McCain, our heirs, said Sunday on Face the Nation. When Mr. Obama said the use of chemical weapons in Syria would mark the red line that Assad wouldn't be allowed to cross with impunity. McCain said, he didn't say, it's a red line, and by the way I'm going to have to seek the approval of Congress. He said it was a red line, and that the United States of America would act. And that's a big difference, and that's one of the reasons why this is so problematic. The president's decision to take his case for direct involvement in Syria's two-year-old conflict to Congress marked an abrupt turnaround for the White House which had appeared in the cusp of ordering U.S. forces to launch a missile attack against Syria, in light of evidence that Assad's regime used chemical weapons against his own people. One of the loudest critics of the administration's handling of Syria, McCain said the president should have taken action early on in the two-year-old conflict. But with unprecedented leaking about lot ships and missiles the United States have positioned in the region, he argued. A reversal at this point, I think, has serious consequences as far as the steadfastness and purpose of this administration. Full coverage, crisis in Syria. McCain said in order for him to get behind the president's resolution, we have to have a plan, it has to be a strategy, it can't just be, in my view, pinprick cruise missiles. Still, he warned. The consequences of the Congress of the United States overriding a decision of the President of the United States of this magnitude are really very, very dangerous. Since Zaxby Chandless, Arda, and Tim Kaine, Diva, appearing later on the program said they backed the President's decision to bring the matter to Congress. I was supportive of the President taking early action, but he hasn't done that, and now that it's been delayed this much, I think that Congress does have a role to play here, Chandler said. But he predicted